Welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this video, we're going to work practice problems on how to name chemical compounds. Now, in previous lessons, we've seen how to name ionic compounds, molecular compounds, and acids. But in this lesson, we're going to mix all three types together and see if we can figure out how to name them. Now, before we begin, you may want to go over to GetChemistryHelp.com and print out the PDF worksheet so you can follow along as we work these. Well, let's just go ahead here and jump in and see what we can do. Number one, Al2S3, is that an ionic compound? Is it molecular or is it an acid? Because again, the way we named the three types is totally different. So Al and S, let's find Al. That lives over here, and S lives over here. So would this be ionic, molecular, or an acid? Okay, well ionic compounds typically have a metal or a polyatomic, and aluminum is a metal because it's on the left of this little staircase right here that divides the metals from nonmetals. So this would be an ionic compound. I'll put an I over here. Okay, so we named the cation first. That would be aluminum. And then we have to decide, does this metal need a Roman numeral? Well, if it's in group one, group two, or the magic triangle, then it has a fixed charge and it won't. Oh, look, it is in the magic triangle, so it won't. So just aluminum. Sulfur, that's a nonmetal that forms an anion, so nonmetals that form anions, we just change the ending to ide, so that would be sulfide, aluminum sulfide. How about H3PO3 aqueous? Is that ionic, molecular, or an acid? Well, the hydrogen's out front, and the aqueous tells me it's got to be an acid, so I'll just put an A over here. So what's the name of the acid? Well, the name of the acid is determined by this, the PO3. So if I lost three H pluses, that would leave PO3, three negative. Well, what's that called? Well, we saw in our lesson on polyatomic ions, PO4, three negative is phosphate. So PO3, three negative would be phosphite. Well, from our lesson on acids, we know that ite means the acid ends in us, O-U-S. So phosphite has to end in O-U-S. But remember, for phosphorus and sulfur, we put the little or back in there. So not phosphorus, phosphorus acid. Be phosphorus acid. How about P2O5? Well, where's P and O? There. Well, here's P, here's O. Oh, those are both nonmetals. Those are both here on the right side of the staircase. We have two nonmetals. That means it's a molecular compound. So those, we use the Greek prefixes. So the first one, 2-phosphorus, di-phosphorus. 5-oxygen. Well, remember, the second nonmetal turns to ide, so penta-oxide. So di-phosphorus, penta-oxide. How about this one? Cu, parenthesis, OH, parenthesis, 2 or CuOH taken twice. Is this ionic, molecular, or an acid? Well, copper is a metal. OH is a polyatomic ion, so it's gotta be ionic. How do we name Cu? Well, that's copper. Will copper need a Roman numeral? Well, it's not in group one. It's not in group two. It's close, but it's not in our magic triangle, so it will need a Roman numeral. Well, we figure that up based off what OH is. Well, OH is called Hydroxide. Hydroxide has a one negative charge. We have two of them, so that means a total of two negative. So the anions total up to be two negative. The cations must total up to be two positive. There's only one copper, so that one copper must be copper two. So copper two hydroxide. Okay, well how about HClO4 aqueous? Is that ionic, molecular, or an acid? Well, this is definitely an acid. It's got H out front and aqueous, so it's an acid. So if the H popped off here and made H+, plus, what else would we be left with? Well, ClO4 negative. Now, this C now ClO3 negative is chlorate. This has one extra oxygen, so this would be perchlorate. And from our lesson on acids, eight goes to ick. So perchlorate would form perchloric acid. How about K2O? Is that ionic, molecular, or an acid? 
Well, K is here, O is here, so we got a metal and a nonmetal. So that's going to be ionic. How do we name K? Well, that's potassium. Will potassium need a Roman numeral, or does it have a fixed charge? Well, it's in group 1A, so it's always one positive. So no Roman numeral. O, that's a nonmetal by itself. So these just end in ide. So potassium oxide. How about NH4 taken twice, CO3? Well, these are all nonmetals, but remember NH4 is a polyatomic and CO3 is a polyatomic. So we got two ions. So even though they're all nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. So we named the cation first. That's called ammonium. And then we named the anion second. And CO3 is carbonate. So that would be ammonium carbonate. How about this one? Well, HC2H3O2 aqueous. Well, the H out front and the aqueous tells me it's an acid. So I name it based off whatever this anion is here. So if I lost an H+, plus, this one here, I'd be left with C2H3O2 negative. Well, what is that polyatomic called? That is called the acetate ion. So once again, what does 8 do? Well, 8 goes to ick. So acetate would become acetic, or as, as we pronounce it, acetic acid. Acetic acid. This is the acid, by the way, that's in vinegar. Okay, how about our last one? Ni and SO4 taken twice. Well, where is Ni? It's right here. Oh, that's a metal. SO4 is a polyatomic ion, so it's definitely an ionic compound. So Ni, that's nickel. Will nickel need a Roman numeral? Well, it's not in group one, it's not in group two, and it's not in our magic triangle. So it will have a variable charge. So we need to give it some kind of Roman numeral. What Roman numeral would it get? What's the charge? Well, SO4, that's called sulfate. That has a two negative charge. We have two sulfates though, so that's a total of four negative, which means the cations have to total four positive in order to balance out. So nickel must be nickel four, and SO4 we said was sulfate. So nickel four sulfate. Well, I hope you enjoyed these practice problems on naming chemical compounds. Be sure and come back for part two where we're going to be given the names and we're going to determine the formulas. And we'll see you next time here on GetChemistryHelp.com. Thank you.